Good morning everyone. Today we're going to look at these UVC germicidal air exchangers. The idea is it sucks air in at the bottom. There's a UVC tube inside and then it blows the air out at the top. Now this is not removing dust and particles from the air but the idea is that the UVC tube inside will actually neutralize airborne viruses. So it's quite a simple idea but it has to be done safely and it has to be done very specifically because it takes a certain dosage of UVC to kill airborne viruses. Now this one here is designed to plug into a car or a van something like that. They have this unit here which plugs into the wall and then you just mount it on your wall and then they have a larger unit which is so big I can't fit it on camera but you see this here and then this one has a big heavy metal stand so this is the kind of thing that you might see in a medical office a dentist something like that now although this one is designed to plug into a car you can also run it from the wall or a good 12 volt power bank so i'll just plug this in and show you how it works as soon as i turn on the switch you'll hear the fan So like I mentioned earlier, the air is being sucked in here and it's being blown out here. Now other than hearing the fan, there's actually a little window here which lets you see that the UVC tube is working. Other than that, there's really no easy way to see because of course they don't want your eyes or your skin exposed to UVC light because it can be quite dangerous. Now this is using 254 nanometer tubes and they come from Korea. Now, the important thing about those tubes is they've been tested. They've tested the exact wavelength, the exact dosage, and that's important because remember we know, okay, for this specific virus, it takes this much exposure to UVC to kill it. So you can't just use generic Chinese lamps, throw them in there and think it's going to be okay. You need good quality lamps. Now, I'm not sure if I'm really meant to do this. These were sent to me for review. I'm going to open it up and show you how it works because I think then it, you'll have a better understanding if you can actually see it. So these, this is very clever design by the way, these are assembled right here in the Philippines. So this is an aluminium case and then they have these plastic bits on the end and you can pull those off and inside you'll see there's this kind of foam material. Now I guess this is to catch large particles to filter them out from going through the unit. Now remember this is not purifying your air from dust and really tiny particles. It's just for killing airborne viruses but it does have this basic filter in there. Once you do that you can slide off the top. So let's go ahead and do that. In fact this was the first thing I did within maybe an hour of receiving these. I was so curious to take a look inside. Although I'm not recommending that you open your unit because if you break something or if you touch the high voltage transformer, you're gonna have a bad time. So here's something very interesting. They actually invested in these warning stickers and these measure like, it's like a G sensor basically. If this is shipped and it gets dropped or banged around or something like that, the vial inside will change color and it will tell them, hey, this wasn't transported properly or it wasn't looked after. So that's pretty interesting. So next to the sticker, you'll see the switch and the fuse. The fuse is replaceable. You see the step up transformer. So this converts our 12 volts into high voltage so that it can drive the UVC lamp. Now, like I mentioned, this UVC lamp is from Korea and it has been tested. There are test certificates that they can show. And then we have the fan at the end, which is sucking in air. Now they have these special plastic clips, but I actually managed to break one. Uh, that's my fault and it's not a big deal because they're manufacturing these locally or assembling them locally So they can just fix that when I give it back to them. Sorry about that And that's basically it. You have your fan at the bottom sucking in air Passes by your UVC tube one that's been tested and proven on the dosage and then you have your output Obviously there's some electronics, but otherwise relatively simple not too much to go wrong and now this unit that's meant for vehicles only has one lamp inside but I think some of their other units has two lamps 
and really the dosage is important because they have to measure how fast does the air go past the tube and then what is the dosage put off by the tube and how large is the room now they do have a pdf on their website which tells you the exact square meters room that this is good for it also tells you how many times the air would have to pass through to kill specific airborne viruses some are easier to kill than others uh, but yeah it's actually quite interesting quite clever and the fact that it's assembled right here in the philippines is pretty cool and in fact, they actually put some very useful information on the units themselves. So here's one of them that's designed to plug into the wall. And here's what the label says. Now, although I was sent three units for testing, I actually have to send two of them back. And then one of them I'm allowed to keep. But I decided I won't be keeping it. And instead, I asked them for permission if I can turn over this unit here which is the largest unit that they have along with the stand to a local hospital in Quezon City a public hospital now what I read in the PDF is if you're going to use this for operations for example you want to get this as close as possible because the patient's breathing you're breathing it's going to suck in that air it's going to put it past the germicidal lamp and obviously that's what you want right so you want to get this as close as possible but other settings where you might use this kind of thing is in say a waiting room you have lots of people there they're all sharing the same air you might want something like this that can kill airborne viruses but depending on the size of the room the number of people waiting there you might need more than one unit Again, I'm not a medical professional, so do your own research. Germicidal air exchangers are a proven technology, but they have to be used, just like anything, they have to be used right.